That 70s show was one of the most popular sitcoms of its time. And there's a new sequel on Netflix called That 90s Show. With that new sequel, there's now a reflection on some of the controversies that eventually led to That 70s Show's cancellation. Join Facts First as we present behind-the-scenes drama that got That 70s Show canceled. Mila Kunis was only 14. Mila Kunis is now one of the most popular actresses of her generation, but did you know her generation is quite young and she was in a different generation than her fellow cast members? Mila had to be at least 18 to act in the show, as did everyone else in the cast. However, she told the production staff that she wasn't yet 18, but she would soon turn 18. Which was true, she did turn 18, but she didn't tell them it was some time away. She was only 14 when she was cast in that 70s show. She looked older than her age and carried herself with such maturity that no one realized her actual age. By the time the producers realized the truth, she had already become such an integral part of the show and no one could imagine anyone else taking on the role of Jackie. It wasn't until a 2012 interview on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno that Mila Kunis revealed the truth about her actual age on the show. But it hasn't really caused much of a controversy, though we imagine today a show would be canceled much sooner if an actor or actress lied about their age. Mila played Jackie in all eight seasons. No more Topher? Topher Grace had an interesting story of how he came to star as the lead Eric Foreman. He was a tennis player in his youth and had ambitions of becoming a tennis star when he reached adulthood. But an injury ended these ambitions and he decided to pursue acting. But he had little experience. But somehow it was enough to get him cast as Eric Foreman, which was his first work on screen. He was cast in 1998 and that was the first time we knew who he was. He had mixed feelings about the show. While he was a talented actor and did a great job playing Eric, he did seem to get tired of the show and didn't enjoy being on set as much as everyone else. And after the seventh season, he decided to leave to pursue other projects. Initially, producers were thinking of replacing him and having a different actor play Eric and hoping the audience would adapt after seven seasons. Thank goodness they didn't. Instead, the show implied Eric was away doing his masters. Topher Grace reappeared for the final episode of the series. And in that 90s show, he and Laura Prepon, who played Donna, will be returning. Jackie and Kelso Today, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher are happily married and have a family of their own. But did you know that Ashton was the first man whom Mila ever kissed? The scene when they kissed is somewhat of a controversy. Ashton was 19 and Mila, remember, was only 14, but had lied about her age. Nevertheless, she stated this was just acting at the time and she and Ashton had no feelings about each other then. Years later, they met up again and started dating and eventually got married. One of the challenges with that 70s show was that after so many seasons, the writing did get a little tired. The Jackie character was always irritating to an extent, but in a charming way. But after a while, the character became dry, and many believe this is one of the reasons why the show eventually got cancelled. Apart from Eric and Donna, there wasn't much of a story to tell with the other characters. Nevertheless, it was the role that made both Mila and Ashton stars. Where's Leo? Tommy Chong played Leo, a stoner character which was characteristic of so many characters from the 70s. Tommy Chong was perhaps best known for being one half of Cheech and Chong and was particularly adept at playing stoners. But this wasn't always an act. He did smoke weed in real life and has spent much of his life advocating for illegalization. Tommy owned a business selling marijuana-related paraphernalia online and this landed him in trouble with the law. He served nine months in jail and as a result they had to take his character out of the fifth season altogether. Luckily, he was able to join the show again in the sixth season, but this was naturally a challenge for the cast. Producers luckily decided not to kill off the character or choose a different actor to play Leo. But getting rid of a character even for one season requires scripts to get rewritten and requires the direction of the show to change. These challenges often cause a show to falter and get cancelled early. Tommy Chong is now in his 80s and has largely retired, but we'll luckily see him reprising the role of Leo in that 90s show. The Two Lorries Eric's older sister Lori was played by actress Lisa Robin Kelly. Unlike the lanky and often geeky Eric, Lori was the wilder foreman child. This echoed in Lisa Robin Kelly's personal life, unfortunately. She suffered from alcohol addiction and had to leave the show as early as the third season. She briefly returned in the fifth, but hadn't managed to kick her drinking habit, and she left the show for good. She was replaced by actress Christina Moore in the sixth season of the show. 
Lisa's career was rather limited after that 70s show, with only a few feature films and TV films and TV show appearances following her departure. She continued to struggle with addiction throughout her life. In 2013, she entered rehab after being caught driving under the influence. Sadly, she died in her sleep that year at age 43 with the cause of death being due to multiple drug intoxication. This was one of the most tragic things to happen to the That 70s Show cast, and it's sad we didn't see her throughout the show, nor will we see her in That 90s Show. Midge Leaves Actress Tanya Roberts had to leave the show in the fourth season to spend more time with her husband who was terminally ill. The interruption of the show was difficult, as now Donna wouldn't have a mother and Bob wouldn't have a wife. The show's creators decided not to replace the character with another actress and instead wrote her off the show. The show went on, but this huge challenge in having to change direction was difficult for the writers as they had to avoid it getting canceled right away. Danny Masterson Ultimately, That 70s Show got canceled after eight seasons, but its popularity is why we have That 90s Show today and all surviving members of the cast are going to appear in the sequel, all except one. One of the most popular characters from the show was Hyde, played by Danny Masterson, but we won't see him in the new show. In March of 2017, three women filed charges of sexual assault against Masterson. In the years since then, many more women have accused Masterson of rape, and some of the charges go all the way back to the early 2000s. As of now, it's not clear if any of these happened on the set of the show. He pleaded not guilty, and a criminal trial took place in October of 2022. In November, the jury was unable to make a decision, and it was stated there wasn't enough evidence available. A mistrial was declared. A new trial is set for March of 2023. While he hasn't been convicted, the stigma of the allegations was enough to put a halt from his career. He was fired from the Netflix show The Ranch and was not asked to make an appearance on that 90s show. As the case looms on and we wait for closure, one wonders if this had anything to do with the cancellation of that 70s show. But for now, we don't know what's true or false and we'll have to wait. Hyde won't appear on that 90s show, but the show goes on and is expected to be a big hit. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of That 70s Show? Who is your favorite character? Do you have a favorite episode? Let us know in the comments section below.